I'm Lydia Andrew, audio director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Welcome to 1868 London, at the height of the Industrial Revolution. The mission you're about to see happens in Westminster, in central London. London is under the corrupt grip of the Templars, who use street gangs to strike fear into the working class. Jacob Fry will fight to earn power and respect as he grows his gang to take control of London from the underground up. These people are tired of living under your boot heel. You're a bully, Mr. Strain. And I find I'm not overly fond of bullies. You are not on the payroll, Mr. Fry. Your opinion is no concern of mine. Here, Jacob will use his gang, the Rooks, to confront the Templars' band of thugs in a gang war street brawl. Our new combat system is more brutal and focuses on hand-to-hand -hand and short weapons. The target is escaping. Jacob will pursue him and let the Rooks battle it out. For the first time ever in an Assassin's Creed game, we will have fully systemic vehicles that will impact each of our core pillars, navigation, stealth, and fight. Players will also be able to ram their pursuers, but be aware that enemies will also be able to use this against you, ramming you off the road or hijacking your vehicle. To allow combat on top of vehicles, We've enabled carriages to independently follow targets on the road while the player takes care of the opposition. With our vehicle damaged, let's change carriage before this one falls apart. The target's taken refuge in London's Victoria train station, one of the many historical locations you'll be exploring, teeming with life and gameplay opportunities. Jacob has lost his target and will need to use the rope launcher, our new traversal tool, which helps you quickly go up and across buildings. The rope launcher can also be used as a horizontal fast travel, making navigation faster and easier. The target's getting away on the train. Let's see what we can do to reach him. Trains were an important part of the era and will offer a wealth of new gameplay opportunities. As per Assassin's tradition, Jacob's all-new weapon, the cane, includes a hidden blade. Death accomplishes nothing, Assassin. Guided by our firm hands, society will flourish, driven by speed, ingenuity, and efficiency to a glorious future. The people will obey only us. We will defend this new world against criminals like you. I believe the world has other plans. And that's it for today's demo. Hope you enjoyed this E3 preview of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We can't wait to show you more soon. This is for the players. Syndicate. Who would have thought it? A revolution in need of a revolution. Our time is upon us. If the rich use gangs to trample the poor, then we'll take over the gangs and go after the rich. It'll be hard to know who to trust in these times, but blood is thicker than water. And I know my twin sister Evie will be by my side. The sheer number of wrongs that need to be righted in London will take us time. A lot of it. And while I've chosen to front up to these challenges, head on, it's my sister who's mastered more of an elegant way. She can be very persuasive. But all you need to know is, don't mess with Evie.
message. Boss! Boss! Let's travel at Emmanuel's. Come on, hurry up! The fun never stops. Come on, look lively, Rooks. Yeah. Try the bitter. Who's that? You it's actually quite drinkable. Go on, toast your noble boss, this thief of children. Or you could do better. Join me. Join the Rooks. Split the money. I mean, just take it all. I... Rooks with me. I'm going with a rook. Boy. Come on, or soon enough. This is for the players. My name is Marc-Alex Cicote, creative director of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and here is your first look at our game. It's reckless. It's clever. The blighters control every criminal enterprise in the city. If they work for us... Yes, but they work for the Templars. Oh, no, they're paid off by the Templars. Slight difference. If we take control of the gangs, we take control of London from the bottom up. You are talking about building yourself an army. Miss Fry, tell him this is complete madness. You'd need to consolidate your control. I can keep the rival gangs and the police from sweeping in and seizing the territory. You can't very well send Bloody Nora an engraved invitation. We have no idea where they hold up. Yeah, we do. You found them? The Blighties are operating out of the rookery. Bloody Nora will be there. Good work, Clara. Tremendous work. Jacob. Can't talk now, Henry. Duty calls. To your health. Apologies, Mr. Green.
We are now in the city of London, one of the seven boroughs that you'll experience in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The city of London was the economic and financial heart of London in the 19th century. The borough fully embodies the hustle and bustle spirit associated with Victorian London. Booming businesses, busy sidewalks, and even busier streets. New to our game are iconic modes of transportation, including trains and carriages. Omnipresent in Victorian London, carriages will change how you play Assassin's Creed. You can take the reins and traverse the city faster than ever before. You can also hide in them, adding another tool to your stealth game or run over targets and enemies. The possibilities are endless. In this mission, Jacob wants to take over one of the Templars' control gangs in order to build an army against the Templars that run the city. To do so, he will need to conquer the borough by dislodging the enemy gang from their stronghold. Not unlike big cities today, rich and poor share the same environment. Even the richest neighborhood, like Westminster, had areas where the police would not dare set foot. These slums were where street gangs ruled. With the simple push of a button, we'll activate stealth mode as we are entering enemy-controlled territory. Also new to our game, the rope launcher will change the way you navigate throughout the city. With this new tool, you can climb the highest building in seconds or a zip line from rooftop to rooftop. Let's trigger Eagle Vision to study our surroundings. We can see that one of our allies is in trouble. Let's give him a hand. We first need to eliminate the lookout to make sure he doesn't call reinforcements. The throwing knives will take him out silently. We are facing a lot of enemies, so the head first approach is probably not a good idea. Also new to our game is the ability to use the environment to take out your enemies. Another one of our allies is in trouble. Let's take care of this before it's too late for him. Are you in danger, no, citizen? Don't look the slightest bit disreputable. Please don't start any trouble. Here now. <laughs> Now that our ally is free, for the help, we'll ask him to assist us in our fight for this slum. Here is the stronghold leader, highlighted in yellow. Let's try to take him out with stealth, as he is more dangerous than common tugs. We'll use the hallucinogenic darts to turn our enemies against one another. Thank <laughs> you. 
This slum is now one, and your gang occupies the territory. Huh. Well, well. The assassins have come crawling out of their holes, have they? Damn it, boys! Deal with this! We were caught in a trap orchestrated by Bloody Nora, one of the seven Templar gang leaders. Her rule of the borough has been one of cruelty and suffering. We need to take her out once and for all. Let's go. Bloody Nora's thugs are trying to make sure you don't get to her, ramming our carriage to kill her. Our carriage has taken some damage but seems to be holding up. to the gang war, an all-out confrontation between your gang and your rival for the ultimate control of the borough. Jacob feels right at home in these fights, thanks to our new fighting system, as it is faster and more responsive than ever before. Gentlemen, we are Jacob and Evie Fry, and as of this moment, you all work for us. It's a bloody marvelous time to be alive. An age of invention. So many clever blokes dreaming up impossible machines. Sorting away more gold than Queen Victoria herself. But none of those shillings ever makes it into the pockets of the poor devils whose blood is spilled building this glorious empire. The working class sleepwalks through life unaware of the machine that drives them. Let's wake them up then, shall we?
London, 1868, the center of the industrialized world. Profits see progress while workers never sleep. Slavery not only comes through irons and chains, but through our very struggle to survive. Time for a change. Enough of those who seek only their own gain. We're amidst an industrial revolution. The telegraph, electricity, are changing the way that we live, shaping our future. But it must be a future for everyone. A different revolution is rising, more subtle. A blaze from the ashes of an old brotherhood. We shall rise. Street gangs will be our armies. The slums our fortress. They say this is the modern era. I say, it's time for a rebirth, and we shall lead the way. So Assassin's Creed Syndicate takes place in London in 1868. The Industrial Revolution, in essence, is society going from almost a medieval society to the modern society in which we live in today. It's an increase in productivity that's never been seen before in the history of mankind. You see transportation breaking through. In the span of a few years, enough railroads were constructed to go around the circumference of the Earth. It's a world that's ruled by science. We'll see tons of progress in medicine that prolongs the lifetime of people from about 20 years old to 50 years old. It's a world that's no longer ruled by kings or by religion. It's a world that's ruled by money. And this is something that completely changes society. Hi, I'm Anne Lewis, and I am here with Francois Pellon, senior producer on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Francois, what can you tell me about Assassin's Creed Syndicate? Well, it's the first, um, I like to say that's the first true modern AC. The period is London of 1868 is the Victorian era. At the epicenter of uh, the Industrial Revolution, you'll get to play Evie and Jacob, twins. Uh, there are two protagonist assassins that are conquering London, borough by borough, district by district, to achieve their assassin's quest. And why did you choose the Industrial Revolution? Why this particular time period? It's only 75 years away from the French Revolution that we've seen in ACU, but literally it's, it's completely different in a way that now there's vehicles on the streets, everything moves. The, the birth of new technology, it's really where it started. And what can you tell me about our two new assassins? Yeah, so you'll get to play Jacob Fry and Evie Fry. You all work for us. So they're twins, they're born and raised assassins, so they get to London in 1868 with an Assassin's Creed quest to take down uh, what's in control of uh, London, the Templars. So they need to capture uh, the districts using the street gangs. So they will ally the street gangs with their quest to defeat the Templars. And they actually start their own gang called the Rooks. How does this gameplay affect the whole overall story. We like to say that it's a tie between the main narrative, which is an Assassin's Creed Templar's story, obviously, but what we call the side quests or the activities is completely linked. You know, the fantasy of the gang lord or the criminal organization. So, you know, forming, developing, building the rooks or the street gang that of, of his own to defeat, like I said, the Templars. And because this is a much more modern era, you have a lot more modern weapons, and you can't just walk around the streets carrying a sword. There's a lot more concealment. So what kinds of tools will Jacob and Evie be able to use in the game? Yeah, so the big, I'll say, uh, the big game changer that you'll have in Assassin's Creed that 
you know, that will change the way that the player is playing Assassin's Creed. First and foremost, the vehicles. So, you know, uh, the vehicles are, are everywhere in the streets. The second big one is a tool that we call the Rope Launcher. It's a navigation tool. It's a very powerful tool that uh, the twins are having um, that gives them the, the ability to go on top of buildings using kind of a zipline system. And then the last one, it's true, like you made reference to the concealed weapon. It's a time where they were not having swords. It was a lot more brutal and hand-to-hand -hand fight. So, you know, the brass knuckle, the cane, or the kukri blade, this is all weapons that makes obviously Jacob and Evie brutal assassins, but very true to the period that they're in, the period of Victorian London. Thank you so much. When can we expect to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate? Yeah, so we'll be able to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate uh, this holiday, 2015, on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Awesome, thanks. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Join the family, get rewards. Reserve now for exclusive access to the Darwin and Dickens Conspiracy. Available October 23rd. Assassin's Creed Syndicate will be the fastest paced Assassin's Creed that we've ever built. The speed of combat in Assassin's Creed Syndicate has changed from the past. We are making combat much more closer range than ever in the past. The reason we're doing this is that the Victorian era has changed the way we think about weapons. You can no longer walk down the streets with a, a sword at your hip. You would be arrested. People fought with hidden knives, hidden blades. Uh, Creed Syndicate. Never stops. Come on, look lively, Rooks.
I'll let you take it from here, lads. Try the bitter. Who's it? It's actually quite drinkable. Go on, toast your noble boss, this thief of children. Or you could do better. Join me. Join the Rooks. Go get him! Mr. Fright, listen. We can split the money. I mean, just, just take it all. I... Rux, with me. I'm going with the Rux. Come on, I'll soon enough. Hello, everybody. Thank you. My name is Marc Alexis Coté, and I'm the creative director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Our game takes place in London in 1868, right in the middle of the Industrial Revolution. This pivotal moment in humanity's history has allowed us to create the first modern Assassin's Creed game. Together with